welcome to the Activity Settings tutorial. When you click the Add an Activity or Resource link on your Moodle home page, the Activity Settings window appears. This menu of options is fairly extensive and is indicated by the screenshot you see on the left side of this screen. In order to view the entire slew of options, I had to reduce the screenshot to fit in the window. No, I'm not expecting you to actually view this, however I did want new users to get a feel for how the activity settings areas will actually appear in Moodle. We'll approach this tutorial by viewing each setting area at a time to get a better understanding of all the magic you can create within your assignments. The first area is the general area. The assignment name and description are required fields as indicated by their red appearance. If you want the assignment description to appear on your main Moodle course page, click the box at the bottom. The assignment settings area is entirely new to Moodle 2.4. Note that any time you have questions about what a particular setting controls, never hesitate to click the help icon. The information messages that appear are typically very descriptive and helpful. Let's cover the assignment settings options. The first two areas should be familiar to you. The beginning and ending date for submissions. The cutoff date is a new tool that prevents students from submitting should you choose to enable it. All three of these options are enabled by default. If you don't want them, uncheck the box. The Always Show Description option is fairly self-explanatory. Require Students Click Submit button. If enabled, students will have to click a Submit button to declare their submission as final. This allows students to keep a draft version of the submission on the system. If this setting is changed from No to Yes after students have already submitted, those submissions will be regarded as final. Require that students accept the submission statement. New to Moodle 2.4, requiring that students accept the submission statement for all submissions, a window will pop up asking the student to verify yes or no. Notify graders about submissions. If enabled, graders or instructors receive a message whenever a student submits an assignment early, on time, and late. Message methods are configurable. Notify graders about late submissions. If enabled, graders, usually teachers, receive a message whenever a student submits an assignment late. Message methods are configurable. Students submit in groups. If enabled, students will be divided into groups based on the default set of groups or a custom grouping that you might create. A group submission will be shared among group members and all members of the group will see each other's changes to the submission. Require all group members submit. If enabled, all members of the student group must click the Submit button for this assignment before the group submission will be considered as submitted. If disabled, the group submission will be considered as submitted as soon as any member of the student group clicks the Submit button. Grouping for student groups. This is the grouping that the assignment will use to find groups for student groups. If not set, the default set of groups will be used. Blind marking. Blind marking hides the identity of students to markers. Blind marking settings will be locked once a submission or grade has been made in relation to this assignment. The submission settings area is also different from previous versions of Moodle. Where you used to specify the type of assignment you wanted in earlier versions, you now create that distinction within the online text and file submissions options. The feedback settings area includes feedback comments. If enabled, the marker can leave feedback comments for each submission. Offline grading worksheet. If enabled, the teacher will be able to download and upload a worksheet with student grades when marking the assignments. File Feedback If enabled, the teacher will be able to upload files with feedback when marking the assignments. These files may be, but are not limited to, marked up student submissions, documents with comments, or spoken audio feedback. The grade area is similar to previous versions. You can set the numeric value for your assignment and your grading method. 
If you are not using rubrics for grading text-heavy assignments, you should be. Check out the rubrics tutorial to make your grading life easier. If you've already created categories in your Gradebook Categories and Items page, you can select the category you want this assignment to be in from the drop-down menu. This is much easier to do than to move the item later within the Categories and Items page. The Common Module settings is no different from earlier Moodle versions. This setting has three options. No groups. There are no subgroups. Everyone is part of one big community. Separate groups. Each group member can see only their own group. Others are invisible. Or visible groups. Each group member works in their own group but can also see other groups. The group mode defined at course level is the default mode for all activities within the course. This is mostly applicable to merged courses. Each activity that supports groups can also define its own group mode, though if the group mode is forced at course level, the group mode setting for each activity is ignored. The Restricting Access area partly duplicates the date limit settings from the earlier assignment settings area, however it does much more. You can restrict access to activities based on the performance of the student on other activities within your course. An example of this might be you restrict activities in Block 1 based upon the student's completion of the syllabus quiz or any other census activity that you would like. You can restrict the student based upon their grade on a certain activity, a user field, which most instructors will probably not utilize, and or if a certain activity has been completed and no grade condition is necessary. You can decide whether or not you want the student to see the activity as grayed out with restriction information or to not appear at all until conditions are met. Activity completion, the last area within the activity settings, is quite useful for students to track their progress. When activity completion is enabled, students will see a checkbox on their Moodle Home course page indicating the status of that particular activity. Students receive completion confirmation based upon the selections you make here, whether the student views the activity, receives a grade, or submits.